Hey guys, it's Chili here. Welcome to a brand new series that I like to call STD Gems. Uh, this series is going to be introducing some, you know, useful little uh, nugs from the standard library. You can expect short videos focusing on a few related tools from the standard library. You can expect tons of jokes about STDs because it's relevant to my interests. Uh, mainly, I'm going to be focusing on stuff from the algorithm library, especially to begin with. It's just a great toolbox for building your own custom algorithms, and I think it's underutilized. A lot of people don't really make full use of the great tool that you get there. So I want to teach you guys this. I want to turn you guys into the kind of C++ programmer that's going to get the good old upnod from other professionals. Now, although I do plan on essentially covering everything from the algorithm library here to start off with, uh, there are a few exceptions. There are some things that I'm not going to cover, yeah, at least to begin with. It's not going to be within the scope of this series. And uh, those things are, well, first of all, these um, execution policies, they I'm not going to cover them in this. They're, they deserve their own video, probably, and I don't think they're implemented yet. I might be wrong, but they're not implemented definitely in all compilers. So support is still spotty for these guys, and it's really, it's it's own beast so we're not going to be covering these guys i'm also not going to be covering uh this uninitialized memory stuff uh they're really outside of the scope of what i'm trying to do here which is just teaching tools for building general algorithms i'm probably also going to be skipping stuff that's marked c plus plus 20 because you know that's not really here yet so this stuff will be skipped but there's not that much of it and again, these, uh, these out of order numeric operations, they're kind of the same idea as the uh, execution policy stuff. It's paralyzation stuff. And it, it's not really in the scope of this video. So I'm not going to be teaching these guys either. But we probably will be, you know, dipping into some stuff from uh, C17. And uh, so you're, to be able to follow along with that stuff, you're probably going to need, you know, Visual Studio 2017. Or, I mean, you could even follow these videos with uh, GCC or uh, Clang. Although this series is mainly about algorithm, I'm also going to cover some stuff outside of algorithm, like, uh, for example, in the containers, some of the containers that I haven't really covered, uh, Array and DQ might give them their own little videos. Uh, also, the container adapters here, they'll fit in nice in this series. Uh, what else here? Random. There's a lot of interesting uh, random distributions that I haven't gone over, so I'll maybe I'll cover a few of the more useful ones. Uh, some of the things that I'm not going to be covering here, for example, uh, threading or uh, shared pointer, because really those things, they deserve their own dedicated video in the main series or even their, their own arc or their own series, like threading might even become its own video series by itself. So those will definitely not, you won't see them in STID gems. But what I might put in gems is little previews of stuff that's up and coming, like ranges or concepts. It won't be a full-blown explanation tutorial, but it'll just a little taster of things that are still in the experimental stage. And yeah, the, the basic way that these videos are going to go, I'm going to explain the mechanics of the tool. I'm going to give some example of how you use the tool. And I'm also going to give some descriptions of real life usage scenarios uh, so that you can get a concrete idea of how this stuff can actually be used. Because I think that's one of the most important things a lot of tutorials leave out is they give you, they show you the how, but they don't really tell you why you want to know this information. But yeah, I hope you enjoy these videos. I want you to watch them, become a master of the standard library, and then you can call me out in my comments whenever I, uh, you know, miss an opportunity to add another STD to my code. So I hope you guys are excited for this. Uh, if I could get you to click the like button for this video, it'll probably help it out a little bit since it's the first video in the series. It'll get uh, better search ranking on the YouTube Google machine. And I will see you soon with some more STD gems. Mm -hmm.